सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आर फोकस विल बी डायरेक्टेड टूवर्ड्स द टॉपिक ऑफ क्रिस्टलाइजेशन वेर मोर प्रिसाइसली विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट मेकेनिज्म ऑफ क्रिस्टलाइजेशन सो लेट्स बी कैन आर डिस्कशन अबाउट द मेकेनिज्म ऑफ क्रिस्टलाइजेशन बट बिफोर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द मेकेनिज्म ऑफ क्रिस्टलाइजेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वट इज क्रिस्टलाइजेशन इन ब्रीफ सो क्रिस्टलाइजेशन इज वेन टाइनी बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स लाइक एटम्स मॉलिक्यूल्स आयन्स कम टूगेदर इन अ वेरी ऑर्गेनाइज वे टू मेक अ सॉलिड शेप दैट रिपीट्स इट सेल्फ इन थ्री डायमेंशन दिस हैपन्स वेन अ मैसी और अ सेपलेस मटेरियल टर्न्स इन टू सॉलिड विद अ नीट एंड इवन अरेंजमेंट ऑफ इट्स पार्ट्स फर्स्टली क्रिस्टलाइजेशन अकर्स थ्रू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यूक्लियाई विच इज फॉलोड बाय the growth of these nuclei into larger crystalline substances and then they get bigger to create solid structures with clear shapes and specific properties now after discussing what is crystallization we will be moving towards the mechanism of crystallization here understanding how crystals come closer and become larger is very important when crystals are made from a liquid it happens in main two steps at first there is something called nucleation this is when really tiny pieces almost like the starting blocks of the crystal are born it's like the very beginning of making a puzzle where you start with the individual pieces okay then comes crystal growth this is when these tiny pieces stick together and gets bigger like the puzzle pieces snapping into the place they keep getting larger until they form a crystal that we can see without a microscope think about it like building with lego blocks you start with the tiniest pieces and as you put them together your creation goes and becomes more complex so knowing how these steps work is important because it helps us build the right equipment and do the right thing to make crystals the way we want and the generation of new solid phase that is the new particles either on a inert material in the solution or in the solution itself is called nucleation while the increase in the size of the nuclei with layer by layer addition of solute is called crystal growth supersaturation is the common driving force for nucleation and crystal growth the crystals can neither form nor grow unless the solution is supersaturated so this was about a brief of the two main steps of crystal formation now talking about nucleation nucleation is the very first step in making a crystal imagine that you are making a sand castle on the beach you start with small mound of wet sand this mound is like a nucleus in crystal formation it's like the beginning point where a few molecules or ions comes closer and form a tiny stable group these groups are like the building block for the crystal just as sand sticks together to form your sand castle these molecules or ions then gather together and create the nuclei once you have got the nucleus things start to get interesting it's as if your sand castle starts to grow all by itself more molecule or ions gather around the nucleus and sticks to it making it larger imagine that you are stacking the lego blocks on the top of the starting piece the growth happens here in layers just like adding more and more layer to your sand castle the molecules ions or atoms arrange themselves neatly like puzzle pieces snapping into the place following a specific pattern called a crystal lattice structure this growth process can occur in different ways like the molecules sticking to the surface moving around or even joining together to make a new parts now as the crystal continues to grow it becomes more organized think about arranging the bricks in a pattern to build a wall similarly the molecules or the ions are added to the crystal lattice in a repeating three dimensional arrangement this arrangement depends on the kind of the stuff you are making to form the crystal and how its particles like to interact with each other imagine like you are arranging the colorful beads into a bracelet in pattern the pattern makes the beads into a beautiful design similarly it is with crystal lattice formation 
the crystals here can have various shapes and structures such as cubic hexagonal tetragonal and more eventually after the crystal lattice formation the crystal lattice grows big enough that the material transform from something like a liquid or solution into a solid structure just like the dough turning into a solid cookie when it bakes the ordered arrangement of the particles within the crystal lattice gives the crystal into special traits like its shape color and even how hard it is it's like the final masterpiece of your sand castle making so here in the crystalline solid formation the orderly arrangement of the particles with the lattice gives the crystal into distinct physical properties such as its characteristic shape color and hardness now let's discuss some important points related to the formation of crystals firstly imagine that you are making ice cubes by freezing the water into a ice tray the number and the speed at which the ice cubes form depends on how cold your freezer is right the lower the temperature the faster the freezing process similar is the process of making crystals here temperature plays a crucial role as you increase the temperature In crystal making process something interesting happens at first the number of tiny seed crystals and their growth rate increases it's like the ice cubes forming faster in a slightly warmer freezer but this thing does not continue for a longer period of time there is a sweet spot like the perfect freezer temperature for the ice cubes but the growth of the crystal is at its maximum we call the temperature as the optimum growth temperature now talking about some points related to nuclei and crystal growth so here now think about like you are pouring water into the ice tray if you pour a lot of water into each cube space you will definitely end up making smaller ice cubes because they have very less space to grow on the other hand if you pour just a little water you will get a larger ice cubes since they have more room to expand as they freeze this relates to the concept of nuclei and crystal size when you start making crystals if you have many nuclei which are like the starting points for the crystal growth you will definitely end up with many small crystals just as pouring more water into the ice cube space leads to the smaller ice cubes on the flip side if you have fewer nuclei initially it's like pouring less water and which results into a large crystals now talking about cooling rate and crystal yield here imagine that you are freezing your ice tray slowly and you give each ice cube plenty of space and time to freeze what you will get is larger ice cubes because each one of it has a proper time and space to grow without any competition similarly in crystal formation If the cooling process is slow, you will have fewer nuclei which is forming initially. This means that more material gets deposited onto each individual nucleus which leads to growth of larger crystals. But if you cool things rapidly like freezing the ice tray really quickly, you don't give the ice cubes much time to grow before they are really formed. In crystal terms, rapid cooling leads to the formation of many nuclei. in a short time this results in a yield of many tiny crystals since they didn't have enough time to grow before the process was completed so in summary just like with the ice cubes temperature affects how fast the crystal grow and form the number of nuclei and the growth rate changes as the temperature changes additionally the way you cool down the things whether slowly or rapidly impact the size and the number of crystals you end up with and this understanding helps the scientist and the engineer control the crystal formation process and to achieve desired crystal size and quality so guys that's all for this video where we discussed about what is crystallization and the mechanism of crystallization and if you find this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel For more informative videos related to chemical engineering process engineering chemical safety industrial safety and as always feel very free to leave any questions or comment down below thanks for watching and see you in next video